Hey, good morning, church. I pray all is well with you this morning as you get ready to start this Friday. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to our Bible study uh, as we're going through now the book of Titus. Uh, I can't help sometimes but think back with uh, excitement about all that we have studied uh, together uh, through these little short videos. But we're in the book of Titus and uh, today we're looking at verse number two, I mean chapter number two. Uh, and really I'm going to cover two you know, points with you today and one of them is going to be a challenge. Uh, so I'm going to start with this. As you read through this chapter, I want you to notice all the descriptive words um, are words that have, of kind of instruction uh, and these words that will kind of jump words or maybe even phrases that will jump out. Uh, at you that describe how we should be living our lives uh, as children of God. Uh, and and so, you see, in verse number one, it starts with this. But as, as for you, speak the things which are proper for sound doctrine. So he's saying to somebody who is a child of God, you need to be talking about and speaking to the things that are sound doctrine. And then he starts describing from older men to, to women uh, and to younger men and to how you work. And each time he gives descriptive words on how we should live our lives. So your challenge today is I want you to read through and either underline or highlight or circle some of these words um, about how we should live our life. Because uh, you look at this, uh, he says things such as uh, we should be temperate. We should be reverent. Um, it says things that we should be teachers of good, um, not slanderous. It tells us to be sober-minded. tells us to love. Uh, and uh, all through this chapter, I was just really amazed by these descriptive words teaching us how we should, we should live our lives and be patient do good things, admonish each other. It says um, that uh, let us be friendly, well-pleasing. Um, there's just so many different types of descriptive words uh, on what we should do. So your challenge today is to read through here and, and pull out some of those uh, descriptive words. And, and really challenge yourself and say, am I living my life based off what this descriptive word tells me to do? And then uh, at the very end, it's a short chapter. So uh, in verse number 14, uh, I wanted to kind of talk to you about this. It says, who gave himself for us, talking about Jesus, who gave himself for us, that he, that Jesus might redeem, redeem us. He's purchased us. He's redeemed us from every lawless deed. You've been redeemed from every lawless deed. Every thought, every anger, every bitterness, every hatred. You've been redeemed from that. Forgiven. Praise God. He goes on to say, and purified for himself. So he redeemed you and purified you for himself. What a what a great God. Uh, anyway, I, I hope that you enjoy reading uh, Titus chapter 2 today. Uh, may God bless. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. Uh, and we will talk to you soon.